Well, I heard the blast go off from the Meneer building, which is where the Bangkok Bureau is, and the, the windows um, didn't shatter, but they were certainly, um, it was, you, you knew there was a big bomb nearby, so we all um, headed down to the street, uh, and immediately you could smell the cordite, um, you, you knew that a bomb had gone off, and as I, I, I managed to get a, a trauma pack from the office, a first aid kit, and, uh, and headed down there and, and as we got closer uh, there were lots of bodies. There was, one, there was one person who'd literally been unfortunately cut in half by the blast and as we got nearer to where the Aero One Shrine is you could see um, the railings that usually are all the way around protecting it had literally been blasted out and I went into where the shrine is um, where there were lots of bodies. I saw at least nine people unfortunately who looked like they had died um, and lots of Chinese tourists as well. Um, I tried to administer CPR to one particular guy who was in his 40s, he, he, family were with them and uh, he, he didn't make it but uh, there were lots of people with horrific injuries. Um, as far as I'm aware this is the biggest explosion in Bangkok in a very long time. Um, uh, and, uh, and lots of scenes of distress amongst everyone really and total shock. Uh, I can imagine uh, Jonathan was just reporting there uh, a little earlier about just scenes of utter chaos, people running confused, uh, not sure exactly what had happened. Indeed, I mean, the, when we arrived the, there were only a few ambulances that were on the scene um, and it was yeah, just chaos really. There were, there's, there's a hospital quite nearby which is uh, the police hospital uh, which sits next to Central World and so um, within a relatively short period there were uh, nurses and, and, and paramedics arriving on the scene who were stretching people into the hospital um, but uh, lots of Chinese tourists unfortunately appear to be, have been caught up in this incident and, uh, and lots of children even. I, I saw some children who, who'd been impacted by the blast, which is obviously very distressing. Uh, we're yet to get uh, a, a, you know, confirmation of, of the actual numbers. We're, we're hearing that uh, at least 15 people uh, are reportedly dead and, and uh, dozens more uh, are injured. Um, and you've said that uh, there were a number of ambulances uh, close by. We spoke to one eyewitness who said there was about 20 or 30 ambulances in the area now. Yeah, I mean, they did arrive on the scene um, relatively quickly. I mean, it's such a busy thoroughfare. Um, that particular corner at that time of night, um, you know, you've got people selling garlands, you've got people uh, releasing birds um, to make offerings to the, the shrine. And so it, it would have been especially busy around the time of the explosion. Um, and it, it, it looked to be quite a, a, a powerful bomb from, from the devastation that, that I certainly saw afterwards. Uh, and what are you seeing uh, there now? Uh, I, I know you've, you're at the Bureau at the moment, but uh, ha have the police uh, cordoned the area off? They have, yeah. As I left the scene, um, they they'd secured the area. Some of the army had arrived on the scene. Um, but there is a lot of confusion, and uh, uh, I thought they hadn't quite contain the area um, at the time that I was there um, but but lots of very distressed people obviously uh, and uh, I understand I saw um, a, a tweet just a moment ago of people here in Bangkok asking for Chinese translators to come to some of the hospitals to try and assist in some capacity uh, with what's happened this evening.